Hey, Lee here with Seven Sparrows Farm, and in this video we are talking about agritourism, and we actually sat down with Amy Burr from Poplar Farms. Now, Amy and her husband Chris actually run this working farm in Tennessee. Uh, they have an Airbnb tiny home, they offer farm stays and farm experiences, and we just kind of talked through her journey from kind of start to where they are now. And she goes over uh, just all kinds of different things that I think will really help you if you're looking to go along this similar journey. So we'll go ahead and get started now and I hope you enjoy. So we moved here to the farm and um, we lived in a camper for almost a year. And at the end of that year, we began to build um, a small cabin. My oldest kid built it for us with his wife and of course we all helped out, but um, he named it the Big Tiny. So we lived in the Big Tiny for over a year and a half. Um, it's 600 square feet, but it felt like a mansion compared to living in 240 square feet, and we loved it. And we even thought about that just being home. Um, we have six kids, and they're getting married, and um, we could only fit one couch in there, so we started dreaming about building another house, but um, we thought this would be a great place for the kids to stay when they come to the farm. One of our goals is that this would be our main, the farm would be something that we did for a living. And right now my husband has the off the farm job, which is pretty common um, for people that are homesteading. But someone that um, does Airbnb with one of their um, guest houses said you should totally put that on airbnb and i'm like nobody's going to drive out here to stay at the air that you know the big tiny and um sure enough it's paying my mortgage and people love it and they want to come to a place that's very different from where they're at and um i don't really do much of anything but communicate with them um before they come uh, set expectations for noise um, and then ask how I can help them while they're here and they come and they love it. And it's one of the agritourism pieces of our farm um, to the point where we thought we could build a couple more of these and um, we love people, and, but I'm an introvert so I, don't, I love you and then I want you to go away. So <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> so one of the things that we offer through Airbnb is what we call add-ons. Um, experiences you can have here on the farm. So you can do a farm tour, you can milk a goat, um, you can help feed the animals. Um, when we have uh, gardens in, you're welcome to come and learn about gardening. Um, it's another way to monetize what we do and educate people. And um, so in the farm tour, we talk about our story and how we're not farmers. We don't come from farmer families. Um, but we love to learn. And so um, we just found people that we felt like were headed in the direction we wanted to head and started learning from them. And um, we made a lot of mistakes and we still do. So this is Maisie. She's number five in the bird kid lineup. Um, she's 11 and she's the one that does the farm tours for our guests at the Airbnb. It takes about an hour. Um, she is fabulous. She's super articulate. Takes her list of things to say to help her remember. Um, but we get tons of great feedback um, from folks. Maisie, what's your favorite part of the farm tour? Probably getting money. Getting and money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so getting money. And, and what are you doing with the money? I want to get a pony. A pony, yeah. And I like to take guests around. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun to get to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 